everyone, it's Jennifer. Take four. <laughs> this is week 31 of my gastric bypass surgery. This is Jennifer. Um, this is also month seven of my gastric bypass surgery. Surgery was August the 23rd, 2017. My doctor was Dr. David Kim of Grand Traverse Surgery Center. Surgery was at Munson Medical Center in Traverse City, Michigan. Highest weight, 328 pounds back in June 2016. I did a six month diet with my primary. At the start of that, I was 315. Um, that was in January 2017. And at the end, which was in June, I was 245 pounds. So I'd lost 70 pounds from January until June. Um, surgery was August the 23rd. Um, I was 229. 0.8 pounds, so I had lost 99 pounds in 13 months um, from my highest until the day of surgery. Um, last week I had come to you at 164.4. This week I'm coming to you at 164.2, so I lost two ounces. <laughs> um, sur since surgery, I've lost 65.6 pounds, and overall, I've lost 162. I have seen all kinds of numbers this week. Um, I've seen 163.2, 163.4, and then I went back up to 64. So I think body has had enough. It doesn't want to lose any more weight, and I'm okay with that. Um, I've done good for the month. I think, I'm trying to think of probably seven, eight pounds for the month. So I'm, I'm good with a stall. I'm ready for a stall. Body just needs to stop and recalculate. Hey, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, again, I am 5'7". I am 41. Um, last week, I told you on the 23rd, I do my inches. Um, so I am a total of three point or three and a half inches down. I lost a half inch on my neck, one and a half on my upper belly, a half inch on my hips, and a half inch on my thigh and one inch on my calf. So a total of three and a half inches lost for the month of March. Um, foods, I've been sticking to the same old, same old. My diet's pretty boring. But a couple things, um, one thing I tried new was asparagus, um, stock and all, so that went well. And I found yesterday, um, not all at once, but I was able to eat a whole Granny Smith apple. And my favorite is dipping it into Jiffy's whipped peanut butter. So um, I had that yesterday. Um, NSVs for the week, I've got quite a few. Um, everybody knows what a fit fitness ball, yoga ball is. I was able to actually sit on one without the fear of popping it. Mm -hmm. Um, I was able to do a plank three times, probably only like 40 seconds each, but I was able to do it. I've never done it before. Um, I got a new swimsuit um, because my old one obviously was old and I had had it for like five years and um, I wanted to go swimming this past Monday. Um, I did spa day and I needed a swimsuit and vacation's coming up and we're going to be doing a hot spring and it's not a private soak so it's a public soak and you need a swimsuit so I went out and bought a swimsuit and I got my first two-piece yeah it's a, like a tank heating but it's a two-piece right <laughs> um, it was a size large don't know what I used to wear I don't remember like I said I had that thing for 10-12 years um, I, I had to throw it away before surgery because it just didn't fit no more. My girls were coming out, if you know what I mean. Um, and um, found out that I weigh less than both of my adult kids now. Um, and when I did have spa day on Monday, I fit into a regular robe. Um, they stock the lockers with regular robes, but they also have 2X and 4Xs. And of course, in the past, I wore a 4X and then a 2X, and now I'm in a regular so I can wear a regular robe now. And I had actually a lot of room in there. I was kind of surprised. Um, I thought there was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember what it was. Um, yesterday was kind of a bust for me. Um, 
it's kind of sad that you look at how many carbs are in an apple and peanut butter even though in my head an apple and peanut butter is good um, but out of the food that I had yesterday I had a lot of carbs my carbs ended up being in the 80s and 90s and all my food was is, um, trying to think what did I have for breakfast I had some string cheese and then later I had a half apple with some peanut butter later I had the other half of apple and more peanut butter dinner was um, some cheddar broccoli soup from Costco and a yogurt oh I had a yogurt for breakfast so I had two yogurts yesterday which are Greek um, light and fit and I did have like four crackers with peanut butter when I came home yesterday um, and coffee but to me yesterday was a good day but like I said my carbs were through the roof and my protein was maybe 20 so I have breakfast sitting over there of uh, was it Italian hard salami which is actually good um, and some deli sliced ham some deli sliced chicken and some smoked bacon cheese from Kraft so I'm trying to have a high protein breakfast at least um, been awfully tired oh I know what I was going to talk about I've been awfully tired and my blood work comes back everything's fine my B12 is through the roof I was even told don't take your B12 every day take it every other day because it is so high um, but my iron was kind of low it wasn't anemic so he was going to keep an eye on it um, I've kind of made mention on the Instagram or Facebook or I think it was Facebook why would I be so tired all the time and somebody mentioned probably my iron um, I've been taking the patch MD this whole time for my iron so maybe it's just not working um, we'll see I do blood work again in April I'll just keep doing my patches if it's not my patch if it's still not good I'll probably delete my subscription for my patches because I get those every month um, on a regular and then probably end up taking pills or gummies or something I just I fear taking pills because I already have issues with um, bowel movements, so I don't want to take pills to enhance that. But you know, if my iron's low and it's making me tired, that's probably probably what it is. But I guess the question I have is, okay, people ask me a lot, how do you feel since you've had surgery? I feel great. But then if I sit back, and maybe it's because I forget how I felt before, I don't feel any different. I feel good about the way I am. I feel good about the way I look. My knee still hurts, so that's not changed. But then I think, okay, how would it feel 162 pounds more? It would probably hurt more, right? But it does, to me, in my head, I don't think it feels any different. It still hurts. Do I find that I have more energy? Yes and no. I could nap like a grizzly bear so my energy isn't through the roof all the time. But I go through spurts, especially at work. I'll go through spurts, I'm like busy, 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 and then I'm like, rest time, and then busy, 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 and rest again. But when I honestly think, do I feel any different or better 162 pounds less? No. But why? I know I should be, right? Um, I guess maybe I've just lost track of how I felt being obese, morbidly obese, mind you, um, that I can't recall what I felt like. And of course I get the comments, and I don't, I don't believe people are making these comments to be mean or malicious, but I get the comments, you're done losing weight, right? No, guys, I'm only seven months. This could go to 12 to 18 months. Um, and then I got a comment, um, you're getting so skinny, you're eating, right? I know she didn't mean anything by it, but, um, and even my old boss, she's like, wow, you keep losing weight, are you done? It's like, guys, this isn't like a, a switch you turn on, you lose weight, and you can turn it off whenever you want. 
Um, yeah, I guess I could stop losing weight if I wanted to, to do maintenance. I am not ready for maintenance. I am still learning this new lose weight thing, let alone to lo learn new maintenance ways of life. I've heard from many people, losing weight is the easy part, it's the maintaining part that's the hardest, and I'm not mentally prepared for that. So yes, I'm still going to lose weight. How much? I don't know. I don't care. I've, I've reached goal. I feel good where I am at. I feel great where I'm at. As far as I look healthy, I feel healthy. Um, but do I feel any different? I don't know. I, I guess I was a bigger girl that was pretty healthy before, other than diabetes, but it didn't affect me in any way. Um, I was a somewhat active big girl, but I ain't no more active. Ain't no more. I'm no more active now than I was then. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but mentally, I am feeling great. Um, I feel a little more clear-minded, um, whether it's the prescription of um, Lexapro I'm taking or just I've kind of let go. Um, I'm just letting my body do its thing instead of me focus on goal, goal, goal. Now that I've reached goal, I'm just like, do it, everybody. You know what to do. <laughs> All right. That's enough talking. Um, I'm almost 12 minutes in for a short video of only losing two ounces. <laughs> oh, well. I am perfectly fine with it. I am cool with stopping losing weight. Because you all know I freak out when I lose too much weight, too. <laughs> all right. You guys have a good Wednesday. Um, I won't see you until next Wednesday. So have a happy Easter. Um, try not to be tempted by the candy. I've been doing good so far. But happy Easter if you celebrate. If not, have a great day. <laughs> um, talk to you next week. Bye, guys.